Want to hear an amazing story? I grew up in the shadow of a strange mountain. I used to hike up there when I was a little girl, but got scared when I heard all the stories about the mountain being haunted. Some folks worshipped the old rock. They thought she was magic and had the power to change your life. But nothing much seemed to change around here except the steady stream of pilgrims passing through town. Most of them stopped at the Witch Mountain Cafe, where I worked. Lonely people, searchers, outcasts. They came from everywhere, hoping the mountain could turn their lives around. For some, maybe it did. But I never dreamed it would happen to me. It was a morning like any other. I gave Matilda her sandwich, and Sheriff Bronson ambled over to his favorite spot at the counter with his usual attitude. Gonna be pretty lively tonight. I heard someone say the mountain's pulse is strong tonight. You want to look me in the eye and tell me you believe in all that stuff? I don't know. What do you believe in? Hot fudge sundaes. <laughs> with so many souls in the universe, do you ever wonder why certain paths cross? Is it all just an accident? Or is there something else going on? A mysterious connection. Coffee, a free refill. Well, maybe I could find an extra slice of pie somewhere. No, you can't serve him. Why not? Because he hasn't bathed in weeks and he's on his way out of town. Now, don't look at me like that. There are health ordinances. Say, uh, pal, we got a small community here. Why don't you get yourself down to Milford? They got a shelter down there. Wait. I'll make that pie to go. You're lucky. You got the best homemade pie in town. Right there. 
Don't even breathe. I tried to explain what I had seen, but no one believed me. And they never found the other baby. Hey, you! Hold it! Go back here! Getting tired of chasing you. Come on. He had been running for years and getting nowhere. Funny how life is when you surrender. It always seems to take you exactly where you need to be. You have gone through a dozen foster parents. What are you going for the Guinness Book of Records? He doesn't know the value of a good home. They weren't home. The last place you were in had two dogs, a swimming pool, you had your own room. What more do you want? A family. Well, I'm sorry, Danny, but according to this file, you don't have a family. I know they're out there. I wish we could make all your dreams come true. I'm not sure we have room around here for a troublemaker. Oh, Danny's gonna be a good boy, aren't you, Danny? Hey, it's not an easy lesson, but somewhere down the line, you gotta stop dreaming and face the fact that life isn't always easy. It's called growing up. What do you know? Looks like we got ourselves a pope. Get the pit ready. This is the veranda. We read stories there in the afternoon. Over here, we have the vegetable garden. I know that it's hard for the first couple of days, but I run a loose ship. If you're responsible with that freedom, I treat you like an adult. Don't make me baby you. Kids! Come on! This is Danny, everybody. He's gonna be with us for a while. I know you'll make him feel welcome. I'm Xander. Wanna see my treehouse? It's everybody's treehouse, Xander, to share, remember? And that's why he's going to be the guest of honor. Uh -huh. Wow! You designed this place? And you should see the submarine I'm working on. Yeah. <laughs> You know, there's something we like to do around here with new kids. Oh, yeah? Close your eyes. Why should I? Yeah. I used to be scared, too. <laughs> Fine, I'll play your stupid game. Okay. So right over here. <laughs> Great! Chicken, that's what you are! Make sure you can back up what you're saying. I'm waiting. <laughs> oh, come on. Do I have to wait all day? Hey, squash it. I wasn't bullying. It's new game, so you made it up. You okay? Uh, I'm Danny. Do I know you? Back here in an hour. Look. A lady. 
Andy, you sear my nightmares. That's because it's haunted. You get cursed just by looking at it. What do you mean? Why do you think there's so many weirdos in Wade County? They're all witches. The most powerful witch in the world lives up there. She's got this army of big hairy goons that sneak around at night and round up victims. <laughs> what? Can I help it if he's a whip? You're in the way, Poe. Here half a day and scrapping already. Xander, you ought to know better. He started it. Let me give you Romeo some advice here. You win girls like Anna with poetry, not yard fights. Okay? So let's shake and make up. Shake. Good. up from a dream and there she was <laughs> meanwhile miles away a man dressed in purple was up working late in his purple store Union, right on schedule. This is truly unbelievable. Twins separated as babies. It's like a fairy tale. The delivery man made 18 stops that night. And he didn't discover you, Anna, until the very last one in San Pedro County. That's why they didn't link you two. Well, it looks like you have to do. Well? It's cool. He's just a brother. I thought twins were supposed to look the same. 
That's identical twins. Fraternal twins look different. What about the weird light I saw? It must have been flashlights. It was purple. Oh, come on. What are you saying, voodoo magic? I'm here at Witch Mountain Park in Ashland. Not much to look at because the city stopped spending money on it almost ten years ago. This mountain is said to have a unique magnetic field which attracts psychics and people with paranormal abilities. Now, Edward Bolt, a local businessman, has offered to buy the land and spruce it up with campgrounds, a recreational area, and a full-time staff of rangers. I like to create a place for kids and families where they can come and just have fun. The locals have mixed feelings about Bolt's plan. We mustn't tamper with it. The mountain's geocosmic harmonics are critical to the twins. This Sunday, it reaches the return threshold. I hope they're listening, because now is the time to come home to the light. I had been searching for nine years, getting nowhere. Funny how life is when you learn to be patient and just listen. Of all the witch mountain wackos, that guy takes the cake. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. You believe all that stuff, twin babies with magic light? I know what I saw. And why did we find only one boy? I'm not sure. That's because you fainted at the moment of truth. They're long hairs living up there. They come down and take food off my barbecue when I'm not looking. Bolt still has a critical vote ahead of him when the Witch Mountain Conservancy meets next week. Whether this mountain is empowered with mystical energy or just overgrown with a lot of weeds, one thing is certain. It's definitely time for this reporter to go home. Claudia Ford, reporting from Ashland. Blow this up, kid. So, how long have you been here? Five years. Half your life. I tried foster homes. They used to work for me. Do you remember our parents? No. I wonder if Mom was pretty. She must have been. Do you think they're still alive? If they are, they sure didn't want us around. Well, maybe they just weren't allowed to keep us or something. What do you mean? Like if they were spies or something? Or acrobats in a traveling circus. Astronaut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> something to do with flying. That's what the light reminds me of. We gotta find him, Danny. It's impossible. I mean, where would we start? The files didn't say anything. Shouldn't we at least try? I found you. That's enough for me. You're right. What's going on? We sleep outside when it gets warm. We make our own tents. This is the whale's belly. Xander invented it. You can join the club. If you confess your darkness, you can. Why don't we just make our own club? Tell <laughs> me out. Touchy, touchy. She's a witch. She put a spell on him. That's why he acts like a zombie around her. You were born first. You're one minute older. How do you know that? I can sense it. Can you? How come we can do this stuff? The light?
loneliness. It's Xander. I'm glad we found each other. Now, isn't this a creative way to solve our little financial crunch? Anna, you remember how to peel garlic, don't you? I hate peeling garlic. The smell gets stuck under your fingernails. Oh, I know, but somebody's got to do it. Don't you wish we had other powers? Like what? Whoa! How did you do that? I don't know. You try. How does it work? I just imagine it. Use your heart. Can you read my mind too? Keep this a secret, huh? Just until we figure things out. Vault residence. Miss Lindsay Phillips, sir, from the Ashland Children's Home. Yes, Miss Phillips. Oh, really? I didn't realize it was so bad. Do you want to eat a beggar's banquet? I saved two spots. Danny wants to sit alone. Cut that, please. Um, I'm sorry about the camera. I just thought the publicity might help with donations. <laughs> What's your name? Danny. Danny. Danny, don't you ever clean behind your ears? Huh? Oh. Wow. <laughs> um, do you have a pool? Oh, yes, yes, I do. Won't you invite us over for a swim? Yeah. 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 Those kids. Well, I think that's a great idea. How about a picnic on Sunday, huh? Yeah. 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 Thank you, Mr. Bolt. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Bolt. You feel that? Yeah. What is it? Wait! Don't get in your car, Mr. Bolt. Why not? I don't know. I just know something bad is going to happen. What makes you say that? My sister has feelings about things. Oh. You're a little psychic, huh? <laughs> I'm a secret. Please, Mr. Bolt, I'm serious. I don't want to see you get hurt. Well, I'm sure you don't, young lady. If you'll excuse me, I'm a very busy man.
Diana? Danny? Wonderful news. What is it? They got a home. Well, when do we leave? Well, this afternoon, if you like. What if we don't want to? Look, I know that it's a bit scary. But you know, it's almost impossible to find foster homes for kids your age, especially the two of you together. both have one. Where'd you get it? I snuck into town. Don't forget about me. How could I? I'm an orphan, too, you know. You're really gonna love it here. It's the best boss I ever had. And this is the stable area. Mr. Bolt said he would meet you here. Guys, great to see you again. How you doing, huh? How are you, huh? <laughs> well, this seemed like the least I could do for you. I mean, I mean, you saved my life, young lady. They call it its temporary foster care, you know. But I want you kids to treat this place like it was home. I know this must be hard for you and kind of strange to find a family like this, but I mean, that's what I want to be for you, your family. I've been supporting the orphanage for years, but uh, I've come to realize lately that. Well, true charity is is being the parent that kids like you need. Come on, I'll show you around. Uh, there's the stables over there. Anytime you want to take out a horse, just ask Mr. Flynn. What's wrong with that one? <laughs> ah, that's Thunderbolt. <laughs> No one's ever been able to break him. I know him. You remember? I'm not sure. I, I think so. Yes. I met him a long time ago, before he worked for me. Can you think when? I was a baby. He drove me somewhere. Your psyche is incredible. Luther is the delivery man that discovered you nine years ago in his truck. We realized that when we got your records. See, I, I don't believe in coincidences. I think we were all brought together for a reason. To, uh share uh, a common destiny.
like my ravens. We'll take them for a spin one day. Awesome. Come on. Right up these stairs is the west wing, which you will have all to yourselves. And this is your room. And you can change anything you want. This is the playroom. I didn't know what kind of uh, toys you kids like, so I had Luther buy out the whole store. Well, forgive me if I go a little overboard. I'm, this is all new to me, too. Now, I'll leave you two to get settled. Welcome home. <laughs> Isn't this great? Always fascinated by metaphysics, you know, divination, telepathy, mysticism, magic. Madame Blavatsky's crystal ball. Do you know who she was? No. She was the most famous psychic of the 19th century. You kids have been blessed with a special gift, but there's no need for you to be afraid of it. And I know you want to keep it a secret. So if you don't want to talk about it, you don't have to. But if we're going to be a family, we have to start trusting each other. How you doing? I just wanted to tell you. I trust you. Well, come on, sit down here. Let's have a little chat. Oh, you like strawberries, don't you? I got some here dipped in chocolate. Huh? <laughs> Good, huh? Get up this early. Don't you have any friends, Luther? Sure, Mr. Bolt's my friend. No, I mean real friends. They kind of give you that feeling. What feeling? Like you've known them forever. Yeah, I got a, I got a friend like that. Only he's, um... What? He's in my head. An imaginary friend? I dream about him and he teaches me things. Like what? Patience.
What is wrong with you? I have a funny feeling. About what? Everything. This place, Mr. Bolt. Why? He's our friend. I'm not so sure. No wonder you never left that orphanage. You can't trust anybody. I don't know, I just have this bad feeling about those kids, like something is going to happen. Well, we're always afraid of things we don't understand. In another era, they might have been burned at the stake. But if you accept their miracle, make it your friend, then everything turns to gold. Glad we had this chance to talk. Is there something I want to share with you? How long have you been with me now? Nine years. Almost a decade, huh? That practically makes us family. I'd like to have you keep working here for a long time. So I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I had some geologists examine which mountain. You know what they found? Uranium. Now it's gonna take a lot of money to make that park beautiful. These rocks pay for everything. Why are you telling me this? Those kids can make things fly, Luther. We can mine it without big trucks or dynamite. And that way, everybody's happy, including you, when you get your bonus. I need your help, Luther. I need someone I can trust. Well, I hear you got a pretty good game, John. I was all state in high school, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you want to serve? Oh, no. You go ahead. Well, I hope I can count on your support next week for the Witch Mountain vote. Well, absolutely. But I don't know that it's going to matter much. You see, uh, the chairman is dead set against you, and she does have the swing vote. Ah, yeah. That's something I wanted to talk to you about. Suppose she didn't make the meeting, huh? <laughs> Mr. Bowe, you're not asking me to do something funny, are you? No, no, no. Just a little uh, mistake, that's all. One of your deputies tows the wrong car, and presto, Miss Lake misses the vote. Huh? <laughs> uh, I don't know, sir. <laughs> Tell you what, why don't we make a little uh, sporting event out of this? If uh, you beat me, I'll owe you a big favor. And if I win, well, you just help me do what's right for Ashland, huh? Huh? Think about it. Oh, kid! Thought maybe you'd like to be ball boys for a couple of old timers here. You remember uh, Sheriff Brunson? See, it all worked out. You finally found your family. I sure hope you don't run away from this place. <laughs> oh, he loves it here, don't you, Danny, huh? Okay. So are we on? Sure, go ahead. First one in. Fifteen love. Did you see the look on the sheriff's face? Man, I haven't had so much fun in years. <laughs> you know, it seems so right having your kids here. I never realized how empty this house was. I know this may seem kind of sudden, but I, uh, I was hoping you'd consider letting me be your father. What do you mean? Well, I mean adoption. You know, putting on paper what I already feel in my heart. They'd been there less than a week. Danny wasn't ready to give it up.
So what do you think? I want to run away. Are you crazy? I've been getting this feeling like we're supposed to be going somewhere. Well, you always have weird feelings. He never lets us go anywhere. This whole place is surrounded by fences. Can't you see we're prisoners? It's ridiculous. I'll prove it. You guys are going to spoil your appetites, you know. Nah, we're big eaters. Well, there's some frozen yogurt in your kitchenette. It's better for you anyway. We really want ice cream. All right. I'll have Luther drive you to town. See? Anything we want. It's like heaven. Now, what's wrong with wanting that to last forever? They were drifting apart. Both of them could feel it. He still wasn't ready to let in the light. Meanwhile, fate was leading me closer and closer to the mystery. Jose, take over for me. I've got to go to Ashland. Hello? Where are they? They're getting their cones. We can share mine if you like. There's got to be another one in here. So what are you doing in the car? Get in there. Don't let them out of your sight. And don't let them talk to anybody. And get them back here right away. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you can have mine. It's okay. I knew it was you. Ready to go home, kids? What do you mean? No time to explain. Meet me at sunset on the mountain. Which mountain? Exactly. Exactly what? He means which mountain? We're leaving. Come back soon. Put it on Mr. Bolt's account. Why can't we stay? Bolt wants us back by lunch. That guy was creepy. What was that guy saying about the mountain? Nothing. Nothing? It was one of those moments, a mysterious connection. I felt like I knew them somehow, like they had a message for me. about the twins I saw you on TV. Does the word private mean anything to you? Tell me where you're from. I'm from Kansas, if it's any of your business. Those kids, they're the babies I saw. So just slow down here. You were going 50 miles an hour through a school zone. Wait, it's a Sunday. You can't force Nobody that. goes 50 miles an hour through my town. Oh, they're getting away. I gotta go after them. Who? You know those twins that you never believed in? Well, they're in that car and they're being held against their will. The magic light twins. Yeah, those are the ones. <laughs> you really saw me, you know that? I'm gonna let you go this time. Drive carefully. I had just missed them, and the mystery still eluded me. What are you doing?
doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I've been looking everywhere for you. We have to make our escape plans. I'm not going anywhere. Are you crazy? Well, this is the best thing that ever happened to us. You want to ruin everything just because we meet some weirdo? That's what I call crazy. He was wearing purple. What does that prove? He could be a witch. Why do you think he wanted us on the mountain? Santa just made that stuff up. Yeah, then how come we're so scared of it? Just know we got to get away from here. I'm sick of you and your bad feelings. I want to find our real home. We're running the wheel just put us back in that stupid orphanage. It's better than this fancy prison. Well, go on then. Just go back to that stupid little boyfriend of yours. You don't need me, do you? We're looking for you. Where's Danny? We had a fight. That's too bad. Well, I got something to take that off your mind. I want to test these powers of yours. This is a lead cylinder. Can you make it fly? No. Danny shared everything. We've gotten to be good friends, you know. I won't tell anyone your secret. Well, telekinetic power is like any other muscle. You gotta exercise it, or it'll atrophy. I'm just trying to help you guys. I open it up. Now, can you make those rocks fly into the tube? This won't work. Why don't you trust me? I mean, it hurts my feelings. I, I open my house to you, I open my heart, and still you, you act like we were strangers. I mean, what is it you, you don't like about me? It's not that. I just can't do it. Why not? We're too far away. Well, let's move closer. Yeah. Move those rocks. What's this about anyway? It's too complicated for you to understand. Just do what I'm telling you. I can't. I can be mean if I have to be. But nobody wants anything bad to happen, do they? You love your brother? I'm not gonna help you. I hate you and I hate being here. Listen, you little witch. I don't care what you think about me. But nobody says no to me. You hear? It's not her fault. She can't do it by herself. What are you talking about? They have to be together for their powers to work. How do you know that? I don't know. I just know. Is that true? Why are you so unhappy, Thunderbolt? <laughs> We've got everything here. Nice barn, all the hay you can eat. <laughs> Wait a second. You don't like being locked up, do you? Wait. I know you don't want to do this, I can tell. It's my job.
But you've been locked up so long, you don't even know what freedom is anymore. You're a prisoner too, Danny. You just don't realize it. Want to go for a spin, Danny? <laughs> you can drive. Me? Ever driven a car? No. All the way to the house, if you like. Let in the light, brother. I don't want to lose you again. Huh? Get in the car, you <laughs> By Sunday morning, I had the feeling that time was running out. I needed to find someone with answers. Professor Ravage? You scared the living leptons out of me. What are you doing here? I, I read about you in Omni, and I snuck past security. Well, I you just... just turn around and sneak right back out. You ruined my cumulonimbus dispersion. I drove 50 miles to get here. And I'm not leaving until you talk to me. Have you ever heard of office hours? I'm not a student. I just want to know if people can go through space on a beam of light. You mean like Star Trek? Wonderful show. Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> kind of. But purple. Ultra frequency. But the technology for that's probably 2,000 years away. How come in movies, aliens are always slimy and weird? Couldn't there be extraterrestrials that look exactly like us? I mean, humans from outer space. Now, there's a wicked controversy missing link. No one can explain the transition between animal and human consciousness. Are you saying that we could all be from another world? Yes. If that's what you want to believe. But the less radical explanation proposes some sort of, well, evolutionary leap catalyzed by a, well, by a... I think. Therefore, I am. I think. I think, therefore... I think I am. Adoption papers. Already signed by the judge. That means you're mine. I'm a powerful man in this county. There's nothing I couldn't get away with. After all, who are the police going to believe? Me? Or a couple of orphans? <laughs> There's a busload of kids outside. Ah, yeah. The picnic. Completely slipped my mind. All right, send them away. Make some excuse. The news crew is here, too. All right, I'll make it quick. Lock them up. Separately. But... Do as I say. Hello! Hello, everybody! You can Wait until this all the week. Come on, don't be shy. Come on, sir. How are you? Good to see you. Glad you could come. How are you? Nice to see you again. How you been? Huh? Hi, how are you? Good. Hello, hello. How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to have you here. Oh, well, thank you so much. Children, children, how about a swim, huh? The station wants to turn this into a half-hour special. Well, I'm flattered. Orphan stories. Big ratings. <laughs> Where's your pair? Well, sadly, uh, they've been taken ill. Can I see them? It's uh, chicken pox, I'm afraid. Chicken pox the first week. That's what I call a crash course in the joys of foster parenting. <laughs> I'm loving every minute of it. Makes me feel young again. <laughs>
maniac. I'm calling the cops. No, he's friends with them, too. Just help us get out of here. Can you crack these? Handcuffs? Piece of cake. I never thought I'd be glad to see you picking locks. Let's find Danny. Don't I get a hug? Later. Stables. How do you know? I have some things to tell you. Superhero powers. Magic light ESP. It's true. In here! I think all this caviar is going to your head. I'm handcuffed. We'll get you out. I can't break that monster. Oh, brother. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Somehow, Anna got out. What? I didn't do anything, honest. When well, I get to the state, I'll take care of this guy. What are you doing? It's a superhero thing. Let's use the light, Danny. We're too far. Don't think. Use your heart. This is the only way out of here, and I can't let you pass, so... You're not like him. You won't hurt us. Nobody's gonna hurt anybody. I'm just doing my job. Mr. Bolt is a nice man once you get to know him, and I'm just not gonna let him down. Well, then, I guess you just have to come and get us. Okay. Sorry for not believing in you. <laughs> You're not joking. It's still me inside. Thanks, Andrew. Oh, well, Marley, I'm gonna get fired. We have to get out of here. I know. Firebolt. You can't ride that horse. No, it's okay. I made friends with him. But how are we gonna get him out with Luther around? A diversion. Diversion? Diversion's my specialty.
Thunderbolt. Inside. Quickly. Quickly. Wow, you have the light too. We all do. Everyone has the light inside. Most humans have forgotten about it. Who are we? Where do we come from? We come from a parallel dimension. A planet just like Earth, except everyone has a twin. So we're from outer space? Something like that. Huh, I can't believe it. I'm a Martian. <laughs> Martian, Earthling, space cadet. They're just names. It's what's inside that counts. And inside, we are all from the same place. So, what are we doing here? We're here to learn. On Earth, we have emotions. We can feel. But if we're from another world, why do we look like everyone else? Millions of years ago, our ancestors came here for a visit. They had so much fun, they decided to stay. Well, then the trouble began. Twins started fighting over worldly things. They drifted apart and lost their powers. Soon, they'd forgotten where they came from and became human. So you mean everybody comes from our world? They've just lost touch with the light. Got him. The purple general star. You've been given a kind of amnesia about where you're from for your own protection. I'm like a chaperone. It's my job to make sure you get back to the bus on time. <laughs> when do we leave? Today, at sunset. Unless you'd like to stay for another nine years. I just had a weird feeling. Yeah, me too. Me three. Sorry, we're closed. Hey, have you seen a couple kids? A boy and a girl about 10 years old. Kids? No, can't say that I have. Mind if I take a look around? Help yourself. <laughs> You're welcome. Kids, I know you're back here. No one's gonna hurt you. Let's get the horse. Kids. Beat us in back, Dr. Walt.
anything happens to them, I'll never forgive myself. Well, it's not your fault, Mr. Bolt. Some kids are just always going to be runaways. Oh, sure. Excuse me. Mr. Bolt, it baffles me why anyone would want to leave this place. Didn't you say yeah, those Bronson, kids were yeah, sick? What you got? We just got an ID on that farm truck. It belongs to a hermit. He lives up on the mountain. All right, I want a roadblock on both access roads. Why would sick yeah, kids run away? I can't imagine. I thought we were family. Well, I do have a bus. Look, I'll take care of it. Keep that woman away from me. I don't like this. This is getting messy. I think maybe Nobody should... pays you to think. Mr. Bolt! Mr. Bolt, I think we may have found him. We need to commandeer your bus. I'm coming too, I insist. You can ride with me. Right. We'll follow you. No press. These kids have a right to privacy. The public has rights too. How dare you! If you were a parent, you'd understand. Nobody really had the chicken pox, did they? Oh, the chicken pox. Um... I'm going to. Kids, stay here with the driver. You, help me find my keys. Come on. Facing their fears, they had made a new friend. Funny how life is. For years, I had been avoiding the mysterious circle where I first saw the babies. Now I knew it was time to go back. Kids, oh, I don't know your names, but I hope your spirits are still here. Maybe you can hear me. I don't know why, but I feel connected to you. I want to know where you're from, where you're going. Help you get there if you need it. <sighs> Stupid. <clears throat> <gasps> you. You're sincere, aren't you? Maybe there is a way that you can help. How? Go to the mountain. 
When? Now. You'll see why. <gasps> the miracle of miracles. The mysterious connection. I had to go where I hadn't been since I was a little girl. You're probably the first one to see us land. Maybe I'll be able to watch us leave. Where's your family? He doesn't have one. an amazing feeling like I had known them forever even the lonely hermit in his squeaky truck we were together now a mysterious connection oh, how much further is it to the top it's less than a mile
No roads lead up there, sir. Your chauffeur told me everything, Mr. Bolt. He had those kids under lock and key. He planned to exploit their power. Woman's talking nonsense. Xander! I'm going up there. Wait! I'm coming with you. Very, very disappointed in you, Mr. Bolt. You ungrateful little turncoat. You're fired! Too late. I quit a half an hour ago. I'm gonna go where I belong. Come on in here. Put the cuffs on this guy. Oh. Okay, Mr. Ball, in the back. Watch your head. one with the twin around here, you know. someone else to make the light. What about you, Zoe? Somebody has to stay and tell the story. You really are a superhero. So are you, Xander. My turn to give you a present. Now you have it, too. I'll never forget about you. I gotta go. two were going to show up. They've been missing the ride home for 45 years now. They were the ones who discovered us. We're all drawn together. It's in the stars. Come. You two go last to seal the gateway. What about you? Gotta stay here and welcome the next tour group. I've never been. 
for a bun. That's a miracle. What do you think? Better than hot fudge sundaes? Now it's your turn. Come. Don't be afraid. Come. it's gonna feel like. How do you know we'll even like it up there? I'm scared too. But that's what's fun about it. It's a mystery. Nothing bad can happen. We're together again. It's okay. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. That's the amazing mystery. The light carried us down here many years ago, and now we've forgotten about it. It may be hard to believe, but look into your hearts. I'm not the only one that feels they don't quite belong. Don't be afraid. Let in the light. Then you'll see things differently. I'm not afraid of the mountain anymore, because I know that inside the old witch, there's a princess. And she's been smiling down on me all along. Coming up next, Cory follows her dreams to become a jockey with the help of her magical horse in Disney Channel's original movie, Ready to Run. Catch it next, only on Disney. <laughs> 